Earthquakes and Tsunamis. By Emily Bone, illustrated by Natalie Henriksen. Shaking Earth. During an earthquake, the ground suddenly trembles. Earthquakes can happen on land or under the sea. Some earthquakes shake the ground violently. An earthquake has made the big cracks in these roads in Haiti. Moving Rock. The earth is made of rock. Inside the earth, there is very hot rock that moves around very, very slowly. The earth's surface is made up of big pieces of hard rock called plates. The plates move around on top of this hot rock. As they move, some plates push against each other, others pull apart. When plates push against each other for millions of years, they form mountains. Here are the edges of two plates in Iceland. These plates are moving away from each other in opposite directions. The gap made in the Earth's surface is called a rift. Faults. Most earthquakes happen where two plates scrape against each other. In some places, there are cracks near the edges of the plate called faults. This is the San Andreas Fault in California, USA. Over 10,000 earthquakes happen along its length every year. Sections of rock in a fault shift and push against each other. Sometimes, a big section of rock suddenly slips, making the surrounding rock shake. The shaking speed spreads up to the surface, causing an earthquake. As the rock in a fault settles after a big earthquake, it can cause smaller quakes, called aftershocks. How does it feel? When an earthquake starts, the ground trembles, then shakes violently. The effects of an earthquake are measured on a scale. The most famous is called the Richter scale. Zero means that the ground is completely still. At levels four to five, windows rattle. Things are thrown off shelves and walls. At levels six and above, buildings may collapse and people are very frightened. This road in Japan broke up during an earthquake at around level six. Thousands of earthquakes happen every year, but most are so gentle that no one notices them. Slipping land. Earthquakes also loosen big sections of soil and rock, making them slip down steep slopes. This is called a landslide. Usually, soil and rocks on the ground are packed closely together. When the ground shakes, the rocks and soil are shaken apart. On a slope, the loose rocks slide down very quickly, pushing more rocks and soil down too. Part of this hill in China has fallen away during a landslide. The rocks have smashed into houses at the bottom. City destruction. When a big earthquake strikes in a city, it causes serious damage and put people's lives in danger. Buildings are shaken in all directions, making their walls crack and collapse. Electricity cables fall down, so people don't have any power, light, or heat. The trembling ground makes roads and bridges break up. Water pipes burst open, cutting off water supplies to the city. This is a city in Japan after a violent earthquake. After the quake. Rescue teams find people who are trapped and in danger after an earthquake. This rescuer is using a dog to find people under buildings that had collapsed during an earthquake in Japan. The dog can find people by smelling them. Rescuers use equipment to free people quickly and safely. A rescuer pushes a small camera on a long pole through the rubble. The camera is linked to a screen that shows if a person is trapped. Rescuers carefully take away pieces of rubble to make a hole. The person is then lifted out of the hole and strapped onto a stretcher. Helping people. When earthquakes damage houses and shops, people can be left with nowhere to live and no way to look after themselves. To help people, emergency camps are set up, like this one in Pakistan. There are tents for people to sleep in. People staying in the camp are given food, water, blankets, and clothes. Camp schools are set up so children don't miss their lessons. Earthquakes at sea. When earthquakes happen under the sea, they can create gigantic waves called tsunamis. This is how they are made. An earthquake jolts the sea floor up and down. The sea above it is jolted too, 
Waves form on the surface. Waves start to race toward the shore, gradually getting bigger and more powerful. Tsunamis are so powerful, they can carry huge ships far inland. Massive waves crash onto the shore with enough force to destroy buildings and trees. Tsunami Warning A tsunami can flood large areas of land. Here, a tsunami in Indonesia has destroyed a village that is a long way from the sea. If tsunami danger or in tsunami danger areas, there are warning systems to help people get to safety quickly. Machines detect an earthquake at sea and send signals to a control room. Computers in the control room find out where a tsunami may happen. Alarms sound in the places in danger. People run to high ground. San Francisco Shock San Francisco in California, USA, is close to the San Andreas Fault. On April 18, 1906, a major earthquake struck the city. The shaking was so violent, many buildings collapsed. This photograph shows San Francisco a week after the earthquake. Power lines broke, huge, causing huge fires that destroyed most of the city. People who had lost their homes were moved to big, temporary camps. Staying safe. In some areas where earthquakes happen, there are new ways to protect people during an earthquake. Buildings are designed so that they don't sh collapse during earthquakes. The walls of this skyscraper in Taiwan sway when the ground shakes, but they don't break apart. Some houses are built on stilts to stop them from being flooded by tsunamis. Here are some ways that people prepare so they can stay safe during an earthquake. Heavy furniture is attached to walls so it doesn't fall over and hurt people. Families arrange a safe place to meet in case they get split up. People keep a kit of emergency supplies such as fresh water and blankets. Earthquake drills. People living in danger of earthquakes rehearse what to do if an earthquake starts when they're at school or work. These school children in Japan are learning how to shelter under their desks. This would stop them from being hurt by falling objects. For the next part of the drill, the children calmly walk out of the building in a line. They wear padded hoods as this would protect their heads during an earthquake. Everyone gathers in an open space away from trees and buildings. They crouch down so they wouldn't be knocked over if the ground shook. When will it happen? No one knows for certain when or where an earthquake will happen. Scientists study faults as they think movements in the rock may help them to predict earthquakes. Here, scientists are using powerful beams of light to detect any movement. Some people believe there are other ways to predict an earthquake. Sometimes, Dogs bark and run outside just before an earthquake starts. Frogs and other animals may leave an area days before an earthquake hits. Flashes of light in the sky could mean an earthquake is about to happen. Glossary. Here are some important words in this book you might not know. This page tells you what they mean. Plate. A big piece of moving rock. Plates make up the Earth's surface. Faults. Cracks in the rock along plate edges where earthquakes happen. Landslide, when big sections of soil and rock slip downhill. Emergency camp, a place people can stay if their homes are destroyed. Tsunami, massive waves formed when there is an earthquake at sea. Warning system, a system to detect tsunamis so people can get to safety. Earthquake drill, a rehearsal of what to do during and after an earthquake. That was Earthquakes and Tsunamis from Us Born Beginners by Emily Bone, illustrated by Natalie Henriksen, designed by Will Dawes, Lucy Wayne, and Zoe Ray. Additional illustrations by Nicola Slater. Earthquake con consultant, Dr. Roger Trend. Reading Consultant, Allison Kelly, Principal Lecturer at the University of Roehampton.